Myanmar, an ancient and mysterious land gazed over serenely by Buddhist temples, is the largest country in Southeast Asia. Kyakpyu lies on the northern end of Ramri Island and is recognized as an excellent port with deep water and good natural conditions. Ramri's long stretched coast and large area provide Kyakpyu a great potential to be developed into an economic zone with large ports and various industries, hence places of interest for business and recreation. As one of the most important trade partners of Myanmar, China has actively participated in the construction of the country. During the visit of Mr. Xi Jinping, Vice President of PRC to Myanmar in December 2009, the Memorandum of Understanding on the Cooperation for Kyakpyu Economic and Technological Development Zone, Deepwater Port, Railway Projects in Myanmar, was signed under the witness of the leaders from both countries by the Ministry of National Planning and Economic Development of Myanmar and Citic Group of China. The MOU proposed to construct a development zone facilitated with port, railroad, airfield, and municipal facilities in Kyakpyu. Citic Group is one of the largest multinational conglomerates in China founded in 1979. In fiscal year 2009, it had annual revenues of more than 22 billion US dollars and ranked the world's 415th largest corporation on the Fortune 500. CIDIC operates mainly in financial services, property investment, project contracting, energy and resources, infrastructure, transportation and machinery manufacturing. CIDIC Group has successfully developed DASHA, the first state-level economic and technical development zone initiated and implemented by a company. CIDIC Construction Company, as one of the 44 wholly owned subsidiaries of CIDIC Group, is one of China's largest and most prestigious companies in international contracting and ranked 59th in the list of ENR Top 225 International Contractors. By the end of 2009, it has a total contract value of 14.2 billion US dollars. CIDIC Construction has contracted projects in Africa, South America, the Middle East and Central Asia, covering the fields of metallurgy, oil and chemical industry, rail transportation, highways, power generation and social housing. Kyakpyu Economic and Technological Development Zone will be a complex development zone oriented to the whole ASEAN as well as SAARC and the worldwide and acts as a new drive for economic development as well as improved employment conditions within Myanmar in line with shape of northern Ramri Island and ambient conditions a concept of one development zone three clusters six bases is proposed one development zone namely Kyakpyu Economic and Technological Development Zone will be situated around Kyakpyu on northern Ramri Island and Mata Island. The entire zone will be naturally divided by forests, wetland and rivers into three clusters industrial, logistics and residential service. Inside these clusters, in line with different types of industries and facilities, six bases are proposed, including processing base, ship service base, basic industrial base, petrochemical base, logistics base, and comprehensive service base. The logistics base will be located in the northeast of the zone modern logistics industries based on port, railroad, and airfield will be developed here. The basic industrial base will be located in the middle area, 
steel mill and metallurgy industries will be developed in this base to take advantage of local mineral resource. The petrochemical base will be located in the south area. Mata Island will be used for its storage. Petrochemical complex and LNG utilization industry will be developed in southeastern area of Ramry Island. The ship repairing, demolition, supply and fabrication of equipments for offshore engineering will be introduced to take advantage of superior location of Kyakpu situated by shipping lines crossing the Indian Ocean. The processing base consists of intensive processing and fabrication for exportation. Intensive processing industries aim to make full use of the rich natural resource of local area, such as jewels, wood, and products of stock breeding, agriculture, and fishery. Fabrication industries for exportation aim to import turns raw material and export into exportable products and they are considered to be based on foreign investment attracted by friendly trading policies. This industry will be mainly invested by foreign investors attracted by friendly trading policies and rich resources. The comprehensive service base contains three districts located in spread over the northwest, middle and southwest respectively. Based on superior ambient and natural conditions in the environment, facilities for authority, residential, R&D, exhibition, tourism, business, and municipal service will be constructed to support the whole economic zone. Access to Kyakpu is made through road, aerial lines, and waterway. For the road access, two expressways will connect Kyakpu with Napiada and Rangoon. They will form a road grid together with existing expressway from Napida to Rangoon. For the railroad access, there will be a 997 kilometer long railroad initiated from the economic zone, passing by Napida, Mandalay, Lashio, and ended in Muse, with a 95 kilometer long branch line to Magua. The design speed of the railroad will be 200 kilometers per hour. The railroad will connect the Kyakpu development zone with inner land of Myanmar, established economic circle with a radius of two hours drive, hence boom the economy of areas alongside the railroad and accelerate Myanmar merging into the economy of ASEAN. For the water transportation, in the plan there are 91 various berths, including 11 container berths. 19 dry bulk cargo bursts, 39 petrochemical bursts, 8 ship serving bursts, 2 cruise liner bursts, and 12 service bursts. For the aerial transportation, the existing airfield of Kyakpu may be expanded in the future. One chief entrance road and one subsidiary entrance road from north to south and several branch roads together with railroad stations and lines spreading in the zone will form an effective traffic grid. To support daily operation of the zone, it will be fully equipped with water supply, drainage, power supply, gas supply, utilization of renewable resources and communication systems are to be built. The startup area for the development zone is considered to be constructed by five phases. A 50,000 DWT multi-purpose berth will be built in the first phase and remaining works will be done in following phases. On completion of startup area, the development zone will be developed to considerable scale. Kyakpu Economic and Technological Development